Is AAF like a Christian channel now or something like <laughs> yes, that? Did I hear that? I, yes. Unfortunately, it went that direction. Yes, unfortunately. That is a hard left turn right there. <laughs> well, it would, you would call, like, I how think does it, that work? <laughs> like nobody who's into Jesus ever went anywhere near that station. <laughs> And then all of a sudden, yeah. I think how it, do you get them to go? That You know they already have their Jesus station, right? Like, yeah. How do you get them to just all of a sudden be like, you know what? I, I couldn't stand that AAF for 30 years, but now that they're talking about Christ, yeah. no, I I'm mean, all I, over it. Kind of what you would call an unexpected turn in a, in a different direction, I would think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well. Um, um, listen. It's uh, the new uh, gospel music. That's it's, what they're going yeah, well, there for. Yeah, people are into that. Uh, K- listen, uh, we were just we, – we don't talk about Tom Brady enough uh, in this region and on sports radio. So I just – if you could just weigh in on uh, – K- uh, Curtis brought up that Tom Brady and Gronk did a big hype video for the Lightning before the Stanley Cup final game last night. And uh, some are apparently upset about that. Uh, is, is it is it bothersome to you that, that Tom Brady – you felt like Tom Brady was going to be a New England guy, like a mass hole – uh, through and through his whole life, and now he isn't. Do you, does that bother you? No, because we were nothing before him and Kraft came in. You know, and we played in that little dumpy stadium. He took us to nine Super Bowls. We won six. And then I, what I loved was people going like, oh, it's a system. He's a system quarterback. And then he won without Belichick. So that shut everybody up. Amen. Well put. And, Bill, you're incredibly successful. Yeah, and, I, and I'm not going to get into this whole thing where, like, somebody leaves and you loved him, so now you're going to trash him, and then he's never going to want to come back to Boston again. We have a as, – as a sports community, have a bad habit of doing that. There's a lot of legends in the past that don't come back here anymore. Yeah, I was – my point with the whole thing, Bill, was – I guess six championships and changing the way the whole nation views our region wasn't mm-hmm. enough. He has to be a Bruins super fan for the rest of his life. <laughs> yeah, the guy's from California. You know, he's, he's, you know, he's an upstanding member of the community, and now he's in Tampa. So what's he going to go down there and be a jerk? <laughs> no, he's going to be what he always is. He's, he's a winner. He's trying to help them out. By the way, I missed the game. Who won? Tampa. Lightning. Toronto? Yep. Brady got I mean, the sorry, win. Tampa? Light- Lightning. Yep. Yeah. Wow, so we they give Brady a win. pass now, yeah. huh? <laughs> yeah. Guy's a traitor, in my opinion. Wow. Well, hey, well see, I mean, that's the thing. I Wiggy, thought he was a mass hole. Now all of a sudden well, he's we, a tip but, but, Wiggy, but, Wiggy, and you have, but you have a different perspective because you played with the guy. So, oh, no, I, mean, I'm I, a, I was a Pats fan, you know, and but, I loved the team. But and you I thought, went and played other places. Yeah, like I you understand went, You went to the Vikings after you, – you went right. to Carolina after he's the Patriots. California. He was never a mass hole. Oh, well, he was – he was – uh like at the end of the game he was going, what's going on, dude? You know, we had a good one out there, right? He was our transplant mass hole. Week. Huh? He was our transplant mass hole. He went on Saturday Night Live. He did his – Boston accent. He was on every Boston movie made with Mark Wahlberg. Wait, so everybody that does a Boston accent Damn. has to be from Boston? No, forever? but I mean, you know, I always thought the guy was going to retire here and this was, you know, he's going to lay down his roots here and his kids would go to school here. Hey, went My so kids quick. could get to know his kids and then me and Tom could go to lunch one time. No. <laughs> That's, what I, that's I w- how I thought it was going to be. And then he, he, he killed our dream that he didn't realize was his dream also. And he went to Tampa. All right. Now he's doing early bird specials down there. Now, Bill, I, 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 know, nice. I know you're a mask guy. Nice. Yeah, you, well, I know you're a mask guy. I, I don't understand. Down there in the sunshine. He doesn't care. No, he don't. <laughs> He don't. I know you're a mass hole like me, unlike Brady, <laughs> no, who deserted I'm not. us. Stop lumping me into you to make your point, trying to make yes. sense. You're being a big baby about no, it. No, I'm right? not being a baby. I'm just Athletes spitting facts. Athletes do not belong to you. Just enjoy them while they're here, and then thank them for their service, just like the troops. You go off on somebody who's no longer in the Marines? No. They, they def- yeah, you used to defend no. the country. I thought you were a hero. Throw it through. Then you didn't re-up. They, no, defend, our, they defend our land. Yeah, a beautiful yeah, yeah, Massachusetts land. Yeah, my tax paying for your college education. Yeah, enjoy it. <laughs> That'd be nice, wow. right? But but I mean, Wiggy did play with the guy. I did play so. With the I guy. mean, so he so and he's and is he's an East Boston guy. So mm-hmm. he does have 
unlike the rest of us, he at least was on the same team with Tom Brady. His perspective. That makes it even worse. The fact that he was actually in the NFL and the way they treat human beings in that league, the fact that you're upset that he went out and get, to go get some tax-free money down in Florida. <laughs> Why can't you just be happy for him? I am happy for oh, him. Yeah. I'm happy for him. Oh, that was a long pause. That was I, a I'm, long pause. I'm happy for him that he's uh, enjoying life. That I'm happy for. I'm not happy that he's playing for the Bucks. and still should be playing for the Patriots. I'm not happy for that. Well, and I talk to the front office about that. Yep. Yeah. Guy's doing subway commercials now. <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? I mean, when he was what here. That, exactly. What does that have to do with anything? Well, when he was here, he wasn't doing any subway commercials. So does Belichick. Does that make him a fraud? Oh. Subway's not a Boston. <laughs> that has nothing to do with Boston. Subway's some of the worst food I've ever had in my life. No. I love how they, they stick it through that, that, that little, uh, what, is, what is that thing that's supposed to be an oven that they slide it through? <laughs> That's a different place. <laughs> yes. Oh, and those awful plastic. Those that's things Quiznos, that they just do Bill. it right in front of you and everything's rationed out like we're in the wartime or something. I don't I, That place is horrific. <laughs> oh, Sub- Subway, they did I that. I don't understand how Subway is even in business. They actually have Subways in New York City. They got some of the best delis ever. These idiots are going over there to get, like, you know, the thinnest, like, shaved turkey I've ever seen in my life. Awful. <laughs> They, were, they did like a scientific study, mm-hmm. and the tuna was ninety eight percent not tuna. Like, oh, they, like they did, like they did a DN, like a DNA test on the tuna salad, and it wasn't tuna. How is that possible? Yeah, like what are the, what is what else is in there? Rat meat? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't oh, know. Brady's what it is. eating I, it. Whatever it I, is. I, <laughs> um. So, uh, oh man, dude, you got to let that go. You got to figure out what that. No, really is I'll about. never let it go, Bill. My grandmother, I gra- never let it go. Nope. I'm gonna die on this hill. Damn right. That's I- what I learned growing up. You get angry, you hold on to the anger. It keeps you warm in the winter. That's it. <laughs> Um, hey, is it any? Is it any? Uh, I don't need a defroster. I just think my thoughts inside the car, and the whole windshield. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Um, <laughs> I was going to talk business for a minute, so I was going to get a plug in for the show. Is it any? Is it? Is it any different doing a show at at Fenway? Like, do as I mean, as opposed to doing it at a club, or you've been doing it so long, it doesn't doesn't matter. No, I mean, that's obviously going to be, yeah, that's going to be one of the ones. Well, you know what the reality is, is? It is the same thing. I go out and I tell jokes. They laugh. I listen to them. And then in my head, I'm subconsciously knowing to slow down or speed up or whatever, change subjects. So that'll be the same. But, like, to be doing it at Fenway is, is uh, yeah, it doesn't even make any sense. So I'm going to enjoy it. I'm doing it with the great Tony V. And uh, we're gonna have a, we're gonna have a great time, and uh, yeah, I'm just working on my act, trying not to think of the magnitude of that show. To be honest with you, yeah. Well, just don't wear a Brady Bucks jersey. So let me ask you this: You're a huge fan. I heard you're a huge fan of Hampton Beach, like myself, <laughs> greatest beach in all of New England. Oh, here's the here, Bill. Here's the next thing: Wiggy thinks Hampton Beach is Love the it. best beach in the world. He never saw Tom Brady go to Hampton Beach Ballroom <laughs> Casino. He felt he was too good for it, too. No, you didn't. Uh, uh, um, Hampton Beach, yes, I did a lot of kicks there. <laughs> some, some good, some not so good. Yeah, I, I do t- remember <laughs> bombing up there. Uh, it was a two-story bar, and I was up on the second floor, and I remember – Right across the street was that Viking ship ride, you know, where it swings back and forth like a pendulum. Yes. And I remember being on stage and bombing so bad, all I could hear was the people screaming on that ride. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Yeah. I don't know what it is that Wiggy likes about it. but Ah, It's the atmosphere. It's the people. It's it's the people. It's the people. Yes. Bill, you travel the world. The atmosphere. Yeah, okay. (laughs) It is. It's the high quality. The high quality. The diversity of people. people watching up there. (laughs) Where else can you see a good beach fight and then have a lobster roll? 
That's true. Can't argue that. Which is, by the way, it's. Uh, I have to be honest. The humanity that walks. Last time I was there, that walks up and down that boardwalk. It, it's so bad. I can't even make jokes about it. It, it just feel like you know. <laughs> I'm rooting for all of those people. <laughs> By the way, the, the I think the Subway <laughs> Subway lobster roll is two percent lobster. Oh God! By the way, I'm, <laughs> hey, I'm Tom Brady. Oh, the other ninety-eight percent is your old rollerblades. <laughs> yes. yes. Is this feeling uniquely Boston? Obviously, you're from here, Bill, but you travel the country. Is this sort of feeling that players owe us things in perpetuity, uniquely ours? Um, I mean, I think you know. Sports towns in general, they they like they get upset when their heroes leave or whatever. But like, I think Boston has a way of doing it, where the person then never wants to come back. Um, that's happened time again in my career. Like, like Roger Clemens, if he ever gets in the Hall of Fame, he's never going in as a Red Sox. I don't believe because in that '99 playoff game when he got all amped up and was grinding his teeth and everything and was too wild and got kicked out. They pulled him in between innings, and the whole place chanted, where is Roger? That was it. It was over. Yep. He'll never go in as a Red Sox. Um, hey, what did you uh, – I don't, I don't know that I saw you uh, comment on it. Uh, I'm sure you did. What did you, uh, what did you make of the whole uh, Will Smith, Chris Rock thing? Well, what, what else was there to make of it? <laughs> I mean, but the <laughs> – do I have a unique take on it? Well, Curtis, Curtis said the oh, whole, here's a hot take. He should not have done that. Well, Curtis said Curtis said the whole thing was a setup, and it was fake. Oh, all right, all right. Well, I'm 54. I'm not getting involved in that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not old to get Dude, he was trying to promote his new movie. He said, "I have an idea. I'm going to slap Chris in the face." And Chris said, "Okay." I'm not in that movie, but I'll let you slap me. <laughs> yes, I mean that's essentially. He what did you're slap saying. the right comedian, I though. I mean, <laughs> what's Chris Rock really going to do? Yeah, Wiggy <laughs> defended the slap. That was another angle. Well, I mean, I asked this question, Bill. I've been to many a comedy shows where you know. Let me tell you, Chris Rock. What Chris Rock did in that moment, because he could have destroyed him. When he said, "Keep your my wife's name out of your mouth," mm -hmm. he goes, "I will." Then he goes, "Oh, I could." I mean, dude, that was the ultimate. That was a beach ball lobbed over the net. <laughs> what he could have said. And he chose the event over his own pride. I mean, the guy beyond a pro. He went backstage and ap apologized to Wanda. She said, why are you apologizing to me? And he goes, because this was supposed to be your night. The guy's beyond, beyond a class act. And he's one of the greatest comedians of all time. Agreed. Now, now, as a comedian, because we talked about this. And Will the... Smith makes movies. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> he does. He's making I Am Legend too. So, we, we talked about this as uh, when this whole thing was happening. There's many shows that I've went and seen. Um, Cat Williams, Mike Epps, and sometimes comedians can pick out certain people in the crowd, and continue to kind of land base well, you've been picking on tom brady in the crowd down there in tampa <laughs> yeah very similar to that and you're not on your high horse now are no, you no 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 preachy, go I, ahead. i'm saying does it ever get to a point where you sometimes go okay well maybe i crossed the line and i deserve the slap uh, oh, no No way. I mean, what kind of a baby goes to a comedy <laughs> show, doesn't like a joke, and then goes up there like it's the 1700s and he's challenging you to a duel? <laughs> I came to see you. I didn't get. I didn't come here to get made fun of. Oh, God. Wiggy. What? Uh, <laughs> I want to see the show. I don't want you to make fun of my weight or no, how I look. on me. You're hurting my feelings. Yes. And I think that's what Were happened with Will Smith. Picker? No, no, I wasn't a place kicker. I should have been. <laughs> I'd have played a lot oh, you longer. Must, what, I mean, Bill, you're a huge you're talking, I'm feeling, I'm feeling place kicker vibes here. I no, should no, have I'm been I'm on the team, too, just because I don't <laughs> tackle people. Oh, I Bill. deserve this ring just as much as anybody else. The kicking game is very important. Hey, Adam Venateri, yes, was extremely you, important. You must, you must remember, Bill, as a Patriots fan, the great career of Jermaine Wiggins. I mean, uh, w without him in the Snow Bowl, there would have been there no would Tom be, Brady. There would be no Tom Brady. 
Oh, hey, hey, I'm, I'm not the one coming down. I like all the pay. I remember John Smith. I remember Mike Patrick. I remember Tony Franklin and his bare foot. I remember Rich Camarillo. You want to keep going? He has I mean, no John idea. Santa Root. <laughs> you could have like said like you could have said like Andre Tippett. You got to send him like an autograph eight by ten. When you send him an autograph, give me, a, give, me Tippett, give me your address. Give me your address, Bill. Hall of Fame. Bill, give me your address. I'm going to sign a picture to you. I'll send it down to you. Put it up in your office. All right. You will, a matter of fact, take it on tour with you. you put it behind you. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, bring, I'll just have an internal sage burning underneath it so your poisonous thought process won't seep into mine. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, uh, August 21st at Fenway. I'm going. I can't wait. Uh, and it is. Uh, I'm going to make fun of you. I I'm going to be there. You. I'm going to be right on the stage. You'll be able to oh, find me. I really do. I'll climb up on that stage and slap you. No, no, no. I don't believe <laughs> in violence. Beach style. <laughs> I don't believe in violence. <laughs> Only at Hampton Beach and oh, fight clubs. Oh, brilliant, Gary. Uh, it is. It's <laughs> always awesome having. I did on. like when Will Smith won the Oscar, and then he kept saying, <laughs> I, "I, I was put here to protect people." He started talking about himself like he was a superhero from another planet. <laughs> That was so funny. That was like when your dad flipped out at the ground round and had like uh, 40 tables around you. We had to sit there like, oh, just kind of ruined everybody's evening, didn't you? <laughs> dad, it's okay. The food's not that cold. No, it's as cold as hell. I got the damn chef out here. <laughs> that was a pretty good place, though, the ground round. You got the free peanuts. Oh, I love the ground round. The ground round was great. Easy to get served at. They had the wood chips on the floor. <laughs> I think they were peanut chips. But <laughs> yes. All right. Oh, is that what it was? Yes. I thought it was wood chips. A long time ago. Chip. They tasted like wood chips. <laughs> All right, Bill Burr. It's Dude, where was the health department with the ground round? Why don't you sweep the floor once a millennium? Uh, <laughs> Uh, it is uh, it is fantastic having you on, and we'll see you at Fenway on August. Dude, 21st. I heard Tom Brady's down in Tampa sweeping <laughs> a floor of a ground round down there. I doesn't care. <laughs> All right, Bill. Thank you. No, I have nothing. I have no life. I'm just going to keep talking to you. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for helping me promote the show. All right, yeah, as Breck always. Fenway Park, August 21st. I'll see yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>